Hey guys, it's Dr. Robotnik64. This is part 30 of my playthrough of Earthbound. So in the last part, well, we're back here in Saturn Valley. We defeated Ness's Nightmare, and because of that, Ness is just ridiculously overpowered now. Level 85, 795 hit points, 610 psychic points. He's just overpowered. There's a mad duck. He's trying to run away from me. This Mr. Saturn says something weird, though. Dance is over. Yeah, what what dance exactly? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what the Mr. Sanders are talking about. I never do. Anyway. Actually, I think that shop only... Okay. Well, basically... Uh... Well, we have the Phase Distorter here now. Apparently, it's called the Phase Distorter 2. But we try to get in it, it doesn't work. And apparently, we need to... Get a material called Zexanite from a piece of a meteorite. And the meteorite we're going to go after... Is the one we actually saw in part 1 of this playthrough. Yes, we're actually going back to Wanette. But they, he said that Gygas will probably try to stop us. So, hmm. wonder what he could have in store for us. I wonder if I could teleport right here. It seems like an open space, but... Just to be sure. Hmm. Doesn't really seem to be a wide open space here. Um, how am I gonna teleport for goodness sakes? There's, okay, well I guess I could take my chances then. All right, and by the way, Ness has teleport as well, so I think I'll just use it here. We have to go to one at. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I think we're gonna make it. I think we're fine. Yeah, okay, we're fine. That worked. Alright, we're back in one at. I just went right past the ma- What? That was weird. Okay. I was going to say we went past the magic butterfly, and somehow as we were teleporting back to one net, we somehow picked it up. Okay, I thought I was- I thought I, like, broke the game there for a second, but okay. Oh, boy. This doesn't look good. It's shrouded in darkness. Anything in the trash can? There's a hamburger. Forget you and your hamburgers. That's not gonna help us. No, you know what? Forget it. Forget that. Okay, then. So, let's go. Let's go and get that meteorite, then. But I guess is probably gonna try to stop us, so let's see what he has in store for us. Possibly some enemies. Some new ones. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, what exactly is this? They're tough, I'll say that. Mechanical Octobot and Evil Eye. Evil Eye, they can diamondize you, which is bad. Um, Ness is ridiculously overpowered, so I'm just gonna open up with a Rock and Omega. I guess we be we could be sort of reckless? I don't know. I don't know. Use your heavy bazooka on the Mechanical Octobot. The other ones are not overpowered, though. Paula, Jeff, and Pooh. So, take him out quickly. Good. Fire to beam. That doesn't do a lot. Okay. Kind of wasted it, but I have a lot. I have a lot of psychic points. All right. Very good. That was not so hard. That wasn't so bad. Now we go into our house here, and the lights are out, there's King. What does King have to say? At this point, you guys just might be the strongest force in the world, don't you think? Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. There are plenty of creepy monsters running around Wanette now. The townspeople are barricaded in their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine, but I'm a bit scared. Everything will be okay if we just here, sit here quietly in the dark. Hungry, do you want to eat some steak? Sure. Basically, we can get revived by this. Oh, excuse me, I'm like trying to burp while talking. Are you more relaxed? Okay. So, we are completely revived from that. Yes, we are. Um, I'd recommend you save right here. I'd, I'd recommend. We're getting very close to the end of the game now, I'll say that. We're really close. And we can't call Mom because, well, Mom's right there. Let's continue on. Not like that. 
Okay, let's see if we I can try to get some of the enemies to disappear. Now, uh, let's just stop being cowards and take them on. Fine. Evil Eye, I can just take him out with... with, uh... Freeze. Freeze Mister. Freeze his eye. I don't know. Something along that. Oh, his body solidified, so we wouldn't even be able to do anything anyway. Boom! Actually, I don't know if I even... used, uh... Rockin' Omega yet, or if I... I don't know. I think this is, like, my first time in this part of the game using it. My first time using it in the entire game, I mean. That was easy, at least. Oh yeah, they're trying to stop us. Okay, Ghost is Starman, that's dangerous. He can use Star Storm Alpha, that's why. Freeze Omega on the Evil Eye. I'm taking out the Ghost of Starman first. I don't care what the mechanical Octobot does to us. I want him... Oh, well, his body solidified. Forget it. I want him out of the picture first. Evil Eye, and now the Ghost of Starman. Darn it, he's already using it. Yep. Okay, Jeff... Okay. Paula didn't survive, unfortunately. Or, she might. Hold on. Hold on. Done. And... Come on. Okay, done. So, everybody survived. Good. And Ness is leveled up. Uh, I'm just gonna use Life Up Omega. Might as well. I have a lot of, uh... I have a lot of PP anyway. And besides, we'll be going back to Saturn Valley once we get this piece of the meteorite, so... Let's continue on! The entire crew yet again. Use my Rock and Omega. These enemies are still very weird, I find, but okay. Evil Eye, get him out of the picture. Evil, I will make the Evil Eye cry. Considering he has only one eye, I'd love to see how that would actually look like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Take him out. Okay, take out the Ghost of Starman, fine. Stole a hamburger. Yeah, like... Like, that's a very helpful item at this point in the game. Yeah, sure. Paula's leveled up. Not too good level ups now, but... And again, here's our level ups right now. 86, 78, 77, 74. Really overpowered. Especially Ness. And there's some more here. Yeah, it's coming around from the back. We're very close to the meteorite, though. I'm just using Rock and Omega because I honestly don't want to deal with these guys. Not really, anyway. Actually, I wonder if this will work on the mechanical Octobot. Apparently, Pooh's faster than everyone else now. He gets to attack first. Okay, goes the Starman's out. And they're both out, okay. We're going to be going back to Saturn Valley after we do this anyway, so... We'll have a chance to heal up. We're almost there. The meteorite's just right there. Alright, no other enemies, so... Something shiny you can reach, sure. Alright, Paula got the meteorite piece. All we need to do is go back. Let me find a place to teleport to Saturn Valley here. Um... How about I try taking my chances with this place right here? Back to Saturn Valley. Okay, we might be able to do it. Okay, we did it. Thank goodness. Thank goodness that worked. Okay. So we got the meteorite piece. Hmm. If I only had a piece of meteorite, I might be able to extract some Zexanite. Ah, oh, yes, this is fantastic. What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright, leave everything 
to us, you get some rest. This is getting most fascinating. So, obviously we have to go and heal. And like I said, point of no return coming up, so... Basically the point of no return is that, well, if you save after you've gone through, gone past the point of no return, uh, well, you won't be able to get back. Possibly. So, I'm gonna save. And just in case he's homesick. Teacher is still looking for me, even after all this time. I think my teacher would be able to take a hint by now. Apparently not. Anyway. So we're fully healed. Now actually, hold on. Because we're coming up to the final part of the game now. So we need to go and... I'm gonna go and check out some stuff here. I think now they sell the items, do they? Or I don't, I don't remember. Okay, I guess not. Okay, I guess they don't. This Mr. Saturn here, though, has... All of that. Okay, I guess not. They have horns of life, but magic butterfly... Eh, just for the heck of it. Go in there. Alright. Well, then again, I guess we could talk to him now. Okay, go around then. Fine, fine. Finally, it's complete. The Phase Disorder version 2 is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological function. Second, it can save your progress, which we don't want, because, well, that's a bad thing to do. Don't be afraid, get right in. There's just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, see? So make sure you're optimally outfitted. Are you ready to go? Even if you're not 100% perfectly, completely ready, well, you should be as prepared as possible. It would be for the best. Without careful preparation, you would be in big trouble. I just want to make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. Well, we got two piggy jellies. Well, I guess could get an extra horn of life. I equipped her with the night pendant, so she's protected against flash attacks. Somewhat. Okay. I know that the store sells a certain item after that, or... Maybe this is the wrong store. Hold on. Like Mr. Mr. Saturn's, they sell you things. Eureka ding. Or maybe it was... Well, no, wait, there's only two houses here, so... Okay, just give me a moment. Okay, I just bought some extra horns of life, basically. So, okay, let me look. Let me look here. I've got two piggy jellies, which will replenish our HP. Sea pen and a magic can't bat. Hamburger, I guess, just in case. Or monkey's love. Franklin badge, I'm gonna... I guess I might as well give back to... Okay, well, hold on. Monkey's love, I don't think I even... Okay, of course, I can't throw it away. Oh my goodness. But I basically bought some extra horns of life. Fine. Throw away the hamburger. I don't even care anymore. Oh, wait, I was supposed to... Oh. I don't want to throw away the piggy jellies, though. Okay, fine, I guess we could just keep one Piggy Jelly, then. But I want to give the Franklin Badge back to Ness, because I forgot to do that. Okay. And with that, I think I'll buy two extra Horns of Life. Okay, one last time before we get in here. Level 86, 78, 77, 74. Piggy Jelly and Franklin Badge to Ness. Three horns of... No, actually, Paula has four horns of life. Okay. That's actually a lot. Some bags of Dragonite that Jeff has. Horn of life. He has as well. Okay. I'm trying to think here. 
Piggy Jelly, Franklin Badge, Horns of Life. Okay. Handbag Strap, I don't think that's... I honestly don't think that's really going to come in handy anymore. Neither is a croissant. But I think I have enough Horns of Life anyway, so I'm not going to purchase any more. So, I think I have enough. Like, Paula has four. Jeff has one. And Pooh has one. So, that's a total of six. I think that's enough. Piggy knows I don't think we'll, def we'll need either anymore. Broken Trumpet I can't throw away, and he still has some cup of, cups of life, no life noodles, I mean. And a brain food lunch, so... I think we're ready to go. Let's talk to him then. Uh, completely healed. Alright. Good. At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Oh boy. You know what? We are. Let's do it. Remember, the Phase Distorter version 2 is equipped with two new features. Yes, I already knew that. Don't be afraid, get right in. And look, we could just walk away from this. But shall- will we walk away? No, we won't. I have enough horns of life, so... And clear some space, just in case there's, like, presents that we can find. Because Pooh has, like, three empty inventory slots. Let's go in. Here we are. And we're okay. By the way, here's one of the things you can do. Yeah. The thing can basically instantly revitalize you. Alright then. And, oh, what is this? Greetings! So you're finally here. And, once again, get revived. Pointless. Excellent, you're truly excellent. Only a little time left, I'll give you the last power. I must go now. And Pooh now has PSI Starstorm Omega. So this is... Well, Thunder Omega, I said, was the last one he learned by leveling up. Starstorm Omega, however, is the real last one that he learns. The method of shaking off the stars, which Pooh learned in his training. 720 points of damage to each enemy. And jeez, oh my goodness, I'm, like, burping a lot today. I'm sorry, but... Mr. Saturn? Yeah, remember this? Yeah, that cave over there. Yeah. Back in, uh, part 27, I think. This is it, right here. Kidnapped I was, boing. Kidnapper. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. We have a winner. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's another horn of life in here. So that's good, I guess. So he has two horns of life now. Poo. This thing doesn't do anything. Hmm. Nothing else here. Except for that. The phase distorter has been completed. We can finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Incredible scientific skill, really. Really. Okay. Fine then. Gygus is attacking from our exact location. Be well, because look, Mr. Saturn don't have any arms. And they talk in English, but a sort of broken English. Somewhat broken but, I don't know. Exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. Hmm. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... You must warp to the past and fight, but... We hear too, boing. What is he telling us? Very hard for him for him to tell us this, but... What do we have... What? what? In order to defeat Gygus, who's attacking from the past, he must warp to the past. This can be done, by the way, the Phase Disorder 3. Wow, they made the third one, honestly. However, the machine cannot warp living things. I mean, life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that before you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gygus by traveling to the past? Bring it on! Hmm, you accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yes, bring it on, I say. I almost said, bring it on, I see, because I read that. Yes, I see, you really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. What are you doing? What is he doing? 
What? What's going on? Well, it sounds like a drill of some kind. Okay. This is weird. I'm not saving here just in case I die, I'll just say that. Saying that ahead of time. Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Ness, activate the phase of Sword 3 by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Sure. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you've saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Here we go. We're going to the past. Let's do it. This is the final part of the game. We are very close to the final boss now. Here we go. And we're here. Alright. Interesting looking robots we are. And Ness apparently has a red cap. Wait, repair. Oh, okay, revitalizes us. Alright, we're here. We're here in the past. This is the final part of the game. But you know what? I think I'm going to say this for the next car next part, I mean. Next carp, really. The next part, because I think this video might be getting a bit too long, so yeah. In the next part, we're going to explore, well, this place. So, yeah. But I think I'm going to end it off here for now, though, so. Anyway, this is Dr. Robonic64. Thank you for watching. If you want, feel free to like or favorite this video or maybe subscribe. And also, feel free to follow me on Twitter as I post alerts about videos I've recently uploaded to there. The link to my Twitter account is in the description of all my videos, including this one, so yeah. But that's it for now, so I'll see you guys in the next video I make. Later!